Hello Pisces, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus from the 3rd to the 9th of February 2020. I hope you're well Pisces. And I can't believe we're in February already. <laughs> I'm just going to pull the card that is turned upwards, Pisces. And that is the card of Virgo, the Hermit card. This is a beautiful card. This is our own internal communication. This is how we find answers from within, how we find wisdom, knowledge from within to heal, to find restoration within ourselves, to bring us back, um, to connect with who we are, to raise our vibration from within. The hermit shines a light from within on things that need to be healed, things that need to be come to terms with, all of that kind of energy in order to see a path forward from within. So it is a very powerful message. It is also a card of making sound judgment calls when you do get back to that, raising your vibration from within, getting back to that good place again, getting back having, having healed, all of this kind of energy. It can sometimes be about seeing um, doctors as well, nature paths, all of this kind of energy, healers. Whatever this is, this is where you're finding answers from within, coming to terms with situations, shining a light on things that have kept you stuck from within in order to help you move forward and release in order to move forward in your external environment. It's a very beautiful card. It is the process we all go through when we heal, when we feel we need to be restored from within and find the passage through all of that stuff. Okay. Angel Spirits, guys, what is the energy for Pisces for the week, please? What is the energy for Pisces, please? You're walking towards a new beginning here. Whatever you've needed to heal from Pisces, you're, you're certainly focusing on money and career here. This is somebody closing the gate on something, and I think this is when the hermit does their work. You know, this is where you're finding direction again. From within and without. Walking away from situations that don't serve you anymore. Towards a new beginning. Now, I also, you know, this card in the energy deck is very much about money and career and finances. I also do feel, Pisces, that this can also be about your own self-worth, your own self-value as well. There is a new beginning on that front too. Very, very good card to have. I'm going to read this out to you. Number 31. Bear with me, these books are so tiny. <laughs> Fiddly to get the pages right, okay. New beginnings in finance or career. This card shows a door with a gold coin on it, opening to a place that's filled with light and bright potential. Money coins and jewels fly toward you through the open door, revealing a golden city beyond. All of this points to the potential for exciting new beginnings or expansions where work or money are concerned. Perhaps a new opportunity is totally unexpected. Perhaps it's something you've been working towards for a while. Either way, keep your eyes open for this new beginning to appear in your life. Know that anything you value may be open to you now. Remain conscious and creative and get ready to step through the door. Isn't that beautiful? I think you're ready to step through the door. I do. I feel the energy here, you know, this person is not, is not going to look back twice. You know, they're moving on. Okay. Angels, what is the message please for Pisces for the week? 3rd to the 9th of February 2020 please. What does Pisces need to hear? And no one turned over, yeah. Abundance is ahead. Beautiful card. 
you're walking towards something that's far more abundant in your life you know this is very much success on the career and money front in particular but like I said I do feel there is something about your own self-worth self-esteem self-value connected to all this too interesting Pisces let's see what we get with the cards so I pull five cards and then get clarifiers for deeper insight first card is the past position then it's the present position your challenge advice from spirit and outcome what do we have in the past position please angel spirits guides for Pisces okay we've got two cards here the two of pentacles and the eight of swords so Pisces your present position we have the page of wands beautiful we have your challenges the new beginning card the fool interesting advice from spirit we've got the card of Sagittarius temperance and your outcome Queen of Wands okay let's get clarifiers for the cards on the table for Pisces please angel spirits guides what do we have for Pisces please Okay, past position, Eight of Swords, Two of Pentacles, what do we have please? Yeah, there is a big message, we've got temperance again here. I feel some of you are certainly still trying to struggle with bringing things into balance in your life. Okay, Page of Wands is clarified by... Oh, wow <laughs> we've got the two of pentacles again I'm gonna pull one more for this five of swords the fool Pisces the new beginning your challenge is clarified beautiful I love these cards together the king of swords yeah the temperance card advice from spirit oh wow it's clarified by the magician lovely and the queen of wands it's clarified by the two of cups I'm gonna pull one more card for that Pisces oh wow <laughs> the wish fulfillment card lovely okay eight of wands is the bottom of the deck yeah you know Pisces when I see these cards here here we've got somebody who is they are feeling imbalance in their life something is calling them imbalance sometimes this can be when you've got too much on your plate you're juggling things and it pulls you into imbalance it can affect your life um, this can also be when you're trying to deal with situations from within you know the water in tarot you see these high waves behind this person the water in tarot can represent our emotions and feelings and I feel that it's the internal world that can also affect this person causing an imbalance in some way they just can't quite get control of their life they can't quite pull their things into balance at the moment because their inner world is out of flunter you know all of this kind of energy and that is very much associated with this as well you know the eight of swords uh, swords energy is very much linked with your mind your mental energy how we perceive things and this person is is kind of in a prison of their own making this is when you know sword that the mind can play tricks on you when in our mind you know when it's filled with negative thoughts it's out of balance uh, you can't get perspective 
you just don't feel, you don't see a way forward, you can't see the bigger picture. So you remain stuck. Um, and that is very much these energies, you know, there's no advancement here because this person is constantly juggling two pentacles and they're dancing as well. So they can't move forward because they can't take any more on, you know, there's no advancement. And, and similar here as well, there's a real feeling of being stuck. I sometimes feel that this is a bit like Groundhog Day as well, where it's just going round and round. And it is about understanding, getting perspective of things that you need to get now. Uh, this is, the temperance energy is about a higher understanding, achieving a higher understanding of your situation, your place in the world, where you want to move towards. Um, making sense of everything as well, you know, all of this kind of energy. Because when you make sense of something, when you allow yourself to find balance from within, make peace with situations from within, our emotions, our feelings, our, our mind, our mental energy, that is when we release in our external world. That's when we open to flow. You see the, the water, the flow, open to expansion, open to new things coming into our lives. Allow our lives to progress. I feel there's been some stagnation um, because of whatever has caused this, whatever you're walking away from and whatever you, you know, you're walking towards a new beginning and that means that you're walking away from something Pisces, something that could have been emotional, something that you may have felt stuck with, something that you could have struggled to get perspective on for a while. But we know that you're walking towards new abundance and obviously you've got some wonderful cards towards the end of your reading. So this is definitely a journey worth taking. And the decision that you're making to walk away, and it might well be just walking away or letting go of this internal energy, making peace with it allows you to move forward. Again, we've got this imbalance in your present position as well. Now, this can be about negative thinking, the Five of Swords. You know, you see this person, this, this is a victor. Um, this person has been in battle, they could have had arguments, you know. Swords, swords energy can be about our communication, can be harsh words between these two people. It's a negative environment. Um, but it can also be negative thoughts in your mind too. And you see this person is looking back rather than forward, you know. I just feel for some of you that if you are allowing some kind of negativity to keep you stuck, if you're replaying some kind of negative experience that you've been through, this is about being more aware of it now. Because I feel for some of you, there's, again, there's just real... I just feel that this is like on replay, Pisces. And what you're being told to do now is to focus on your path forward, to take action, to start taking control of the situation. You see, this person is grabbing this wand, and the wand represents your own power. So asserting your own power, and I feel it's over whatever the situation has been, either in your external life or in your internal world, or both. Because this is the, the beginnings of somebody taking control of a situation. Somebody taking action to move forward in their world. Now, this can certainly terms be in, in terms of money and career. This can also be about following your passions. Could be in love as well. Whatever this is, Pisces, you're being asked to take action now. To take action and stand on your own two feet and focus forward to bring change against whatever this energy has been. Remember the temperance energy here and here is all about allowing new expansive flow. You know, temperance is linked to the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter. You know, allow good things to come into your life. But in order to really allow that to happen, it is about making sense, getting a higher understanding of what has gone on to the point of making peace, reconciling differences within you in order to move forward in your external environment. Moving forward is a challenge. You see, we have, in a way, we've got the card of Uranus and we've got the card of Aquarius ruled by Uranus here. So, you know, Uranus is about carving out your own path. Uranus is about 
breaking free of boundaries, restrictions that no longer serve you, liberating yourself from things that you need to be liber liberated from now. And I certainly feel that in this energy. If I can get hold of the card. <laughs> this energy here, liberating yourself from this. Liberating yourself from, you know, this kind of Groundhog Day that I'm feeling. This replay that's going on here. Getting a higher perspective. The King of Swords sits on a cliff. He gets a higher perspective. The Fool stands on top of the world so he can see his whole world. Uranus is God of the sky. You see where I'm going with this? This is all about seeing the bigger picture. Getting a higher understanding of your situation. And understanding then how to move forward. Beginning to see everything clearly. And that is your challenge. Because when you see everything clearly... And this is very much about truth, fairness as well. If some truth has come to light, you know, this is about you standing in your truth now and letting the truth guide you forward, make decisions, communicate your words, all of this kind of energy, and see that way forward now. Both of these energies are forward movement. Certainly this, this card is, is very visionary, the King of Swords. Um, he is somebody who has a game plan. He has a strategy. He is somebody who takes decisive action, who does not allow emotions to cloud his judgment. And it's a message for you now, Pisces. Don't allow emotions to muddle your thinking. The way out of this is to master your emotions and rise above the clouds as he does and as the fool does in order to get a high perspective on your situation and that is your challenge because when you do you can make the decisions choices and see the clear way forward i mean look at this you know <laughs> again temperance find make ba find balance from within make peace with situations in your internal and external environment in order to open up to new journeys you know we've got a path here new experiences, open to the flow of life, all of this kind of energy. Whatever you've been through as well, I do say when you temper metal, it becomes twice as strong. And I feel whatever you've been through, whether you understand it or not, you've become twice as strong here. Embrace the new, that is the magician. He is number one. Take that first step. It is time when the magician appears to show the world what you're made of. It is time to use all your tools, your earthly tools, to manifest change. What is it in your life that you want to change from that is base metal into gold? Because now is the time for you to be the alchemist of your life. You know, we connect with the universe. Ask the universe to support you on the journey. But also put in the effort. You know, we've got the pentacles, the cups, the swords, the wand. This is about effort, hard work. But my goodness, when the magician appears, it will be worth it. Because when the magician appears, now is the time to manifest change in your life where it's needed. And the queen of wands, you know, she's a success of her suit. She is, you know, you see the cat here. I mean, this is a card of Aries. Um, but she is very intuitive she trusts her instincts and um, she understands how to play to her strengths she adapts to the ever-changing world as well she understands how to adapt and play things to her advantage by playing things playing to her strengths this is somebody who takes decisive action there's a real go-getting energy you know certainly the queen of wands the eight of wands here you're being asked to take action again you know, to bring, you know, it could be opportunity, new people, new communication, conversations in your life now. The Queen of Wands could be somebody who's offering you a job opportunity, or the Queen of Wands could be somebody who you're interested in a passionate relationship point of view. This can be chemistry here. Um, this can be about opening up communication lines, conversations to be had. Both of these cards are about taking action now in order to make it happen in your life. Because again, we've got the river down here. This can be about out of the blue, unexpected opportunity, events unfolding. Big message of now is the time to take action. There is such growth around you. This is a mercurial energy, Mercury in Sagittarius. 
again we've got the magician here the mercurial energy here you know you things shifting and changing uh, you know the discussions become solid opportunities here in whatever context so and it can talk about unexpected out of the blue opportunities it can also talk about a shift a big shift when you allow yourself to make peace with something and open up to new things coming into your life that's when they come in and you know it could be in love two of cups can be love uh, this can be an offer or an invitation as well but it is leading to this you know it's, it's deep connection as well it's happiness it's joy and it's leading to you know you being far more fulfilled happy your wishes coming true getting your heart's desire being fulfilled on every level here Pisces I just feel for some of you that when you open up to good things coming into your life and really take action towards that do something about it that's when things shift that's when there is a real change yeah interesting okay what do we have for Pisces as a final message please what is the message for Pisces as a final message yeah very much like the hermit here wisdom have you ever been told you are wise beyond your years now is the time to call upon your inner fairy wisdom to help you with the challenge yeah the answers are within the answers that you're seeking are within but you know there are absolutely new beginnings here opening up for you like I said I think it's very good in terms of money and career can also be very good in terms of finding your own self-esteem self-worth again leading to this abundance you know and also happiness being fulfilled on every level Pisces your hopes with dreams wishes coming true you have the power to make them happen now is the time to embrace the new I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time thank you